All right, as a millions of people shift from working from home, the American Academy of Pediatrics is offering advice to stressed out parents. It's telling them to practice self-care, reach out to others, and watch out for signs of increased stress in children. The association warns that this can lead to more frustration for the entire family. Psychologist Madeline Levine is the author of Ready or Not, Preparing Our Kids to Thrive in an Uncertain and Rapidly Changing World. She joins us from San Francisco. Good morning. Good morning and welcome. Thank you. Thank you. How do we prepare our kids for something like this? You know, we've never had something quite like this, right. so it's no wonder that pe that people are feeling um, at odds uh, in terms of figuring out what to do with their kids. I think there are some basic things that are really important with children, what, depending on their age. You know, people talk about children as if they're all the same, but they're not. They Every family is different, and children think very differently at different ages. So the way you talk to a five-year-old is not how you talk to an 11-year-old, is not how you talk to a 15-year-old. And I think people need to keep that in mind. So let's take it in order then. With, the, with that younger bracket of kids, say five-year-olds, uh, I mean, how do, you, how do you talk about a virus and, and a potentially deadly virus with people that young? Um, I, I think you don't, frankly. I, th I think less is more with young children. I think for the most part, uh, kids get their sense of what's going on, not so much from your words, young kids, but from your body language and your tone. So they're going to be vaguely curious. Um, their answers, you know, why are we home? Yeah. We're home to keep everyone safe. Why are we not seeing grandma? We'll see grandma soon. Not grandma's in a high risk group and we have to be careful that she doesn't get sick. Yes. Right? Yes. I know we're laughing, but that's that really important. It's important to say that. I, I actually think body language and tone is important uh, at, at any age, to be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. But let me ask you about uh, preteens. Oh, uh, Go ahead. Yeah. Preteens. I, I was going to say it's absolutely, it's just particularly important with younger children yeah. who live in a land of magic, don't really understand the yeah, nuance very of what's literal. going on now. Yeah. yeah, kids are very literal. Let's yeah. go to preteen and teenagers. Right. So they're really a challenge. The, I've gotten more calls about them than any other group, I think, because um, they're just at a stage where nothing matters more than their friends. Um, and so if you tell them they're not going out and they can't see, I mean, teenagers live in the moment, they're, um, they like risk, they like uh, taking yeah. risks, it makes them feel good. So I think actually the calls that I've gotten at the end of the day, my advice is if your kid absolutely won't listen to you, you got to bring the hammer well, down. Ma ma yeah. This is not just about, Madeline, I yeah, to, I this is not ask just you about your kid. I yeah. wanted to ask you, so we're running, running out of time here, but, but quickly, a lot, of, a lot of parents are under tremendous financial stress right now. There's yeah. jobs lost. There, there are questions about 401Ks. Body language and tone may be out right. the window. So how, how honest should people be with their kids about what they're going through? Um, you know, I think the sense for kids always has to be, we've got this. Um, and that's hard to do when you have no idea whether you've got it or not. Yeah. But I think you have to go back to your own bucket of coping skills. We all have coping skills. And you have to, before you get involved with your kids, pull up your coping skills. You know, I just wrote this book about, about an uncertain world. Mm -hmm. I'd been on your program the week it came out last month. And then all hell breaks loose, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, and, uh, and I think people were not prepared it, we certainly knew that there was going to be some big time of uncertainty in this country yeah. but we weren't prepared for this particular one i think we have to make sure that we're deep Madeline. breathing and i have a family the whole family deep breathes before they go to sleep at night it helps I, I, we have I, to um not be af not be afraid to discuss yeah. we have to be developmentally appropriate yeah. We have to teach kids coping skills, and we have to give them a little bit of control. The good, simple good things, advice. yeah, very good advice. Simple things are sometimes the most effective. Madeline Levine, thank you very much.